guys, on today's video, we're going to be unboxing this guy. So, let's just take him out of the package. Here we go. So, this is an iPod Touch 7th generation in blue. There isn't that much info, as you guys know, from packaging from Apple products. But there's just enough. So, you will notice your serial number will be down here. So, that's important to have. Of course, you guys can look up the serial number on your iPad once you actually go into it in your settings. So let's just open this up. Right here on the side. Oh, and that just opened, great. All right. Okay, interesting way that they package this. All right, so before we t take a look at the iPod, we're just gonna look inside the box. All right, so we have our manual, which you guys don't need, because so you guys can just watch my video, set it up. And that's the video really where you guys are gonna see this turned on. Right now the cable, it's a regular cable. So these cables are regular for an iPhone 8, 7, 6S, and so on. With the newer iPhones, the cables do change a little bit, but they're pretty close to it anyways. Uh, right here, we have our headsets. Oh, okay. So headphones, I haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> so with newer iPhones, you guys may notice we don't have this anymore. So the regular connection for audio, we always have to plug it in the other way. So that's all that you guys would get with your iPod Touch. That's it for the box. I'm surprised, actually very surprised, there's no charger. So there's no wall charger right here. So I can't plug this into my wall. It's for you guys to plug it in directly to your computer and that's it. Pretty disappointing that that doesn't come with this, it should. So right now we're left with this plastic that comes over it. That's pretty neat, it's a good. Yeah, it's a good way to protect the screen having this on. And I never like taking these guys off because I always like to put my screen protector before I do anything. But we're gonna take it off. Then it pops out if we just do that. Here we go. All right, so finally our iPod Touch. Gotta say, it feels very, very light. This is the blue version of iPod Touch. It looks pretty nice. I like the look of it. The color is actually much nicer than what I was looking at when I was online. I thought it would just be a regular blue, but it's a metallically blue, and it has a hint of green to it. It does look a little bit different on screen, so what you guys are looking at in the color in this video, it's not 100% what you actually see. It's a little bit more green than this blue that you're looking at right now on my camera. So if we compare this to an iPhone, for example, actually any iPhone, this would be significantly lighter than an iPhone. The connections down here, you guys can see, it's kind of the same as an iPhone, kind of. Because so iPhones no longer have this for regular headsets. They just have this guy. So let's charge it up. On the side, we're gonna see exactly that, nothing. And on the back, there's the camera, flash. And on the top is our power button. The other side, we're just gonna see these guys, which is just for volume. And that's it. That's all around the iPod Touch. So it does feel pretty light. This is good if you, I think if you have kids and you don't wanna give them a phone yet, this is perfect. Here they can play a lot of games on, they can use it to study, they can use a ton of apps that are compatible still with iPod Touch. I think Apple will discontinue iPod Touch very soon actually because they're not being sold as much and that's why they're not really making new iPod Touches with new things that they are putting on the new iPhones for example. This is very much like any other iPod Touch. So although it's the seventh generation, we still have the home button. Whereas new iPhones, they no longer have the home button. The screen takes over everything. That's something they, they could have implemented here, but they didn't. So it does give you an idea of where Apple's heading with this. I can only assume that they will discontinue iPod touches if sales keep going down. Because hey, people in the end of the day, they are buying more iPhones than iPod touches. Even when it comes down to buying something for their kids, they're still buying iPhones versus iPod touches. Anyways, that would be it for this unboxing. It's just a really quick unboxing for you guys to see what's inside the box. There will be the setup video where you guys will see this guy turning on, plus review later on. Review usually comes out after a few months, but 
In this case, it's gonna be after a few weeks. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.